In the heart of a menacing forest, there resided a terrifying witch known as Bony Legs. With teeth made of iron and hunger for little children, she dwelled in a hut raised upon chicken feet, patiently waiting for unsuspecting victims. Meanwhile, at the forest's edge lived Sasha, a brave soul sent on a simple errand by her aunt. Equipped only with her bravery and kindness, Sasha ventured forth, blissfully unaware of the peril that awaited her. Join us in today's story, Bony Legs by Joanna Cole, Pictures by Dirk Zimmer. Bony Legs was a horrible, bad witch. She could run very fast on her bony old legs. Her teeth were made of iron, and she liked to eat little children. She lived deep in the woods in a hut that stood on chicken feet. All day long, she waited for children to pass by. On the edge of the same woods, a girl named Sasha lived with her aunt. One morning, Sasha's aunt sent her out to borrow a needle and thread. Sasha took some bread and butter and a bit of meat for lunch. She began to walk. She walked and walked. She was surprised when she came to a hut that stood on chicken feet. She decided to go inside. She opened the gate. It creaked and groaned. Poor gate, said Sasha. You need some grease. She scraped the butter from her bread and rubbed it on the hinges of the gate. It opened quietly. Sasha walked up the path. A skinny dog stood in her way. It barked and barked. <coughs> Poor dog, said Sasha. You look hungry. She gave her bread to the dog. He ate it up and did not bark again. A cat was sitting near the hut, mewing sadly. Poor kitty, said Sasha. Are you hungry too? She gave her meat to the cat. Old Bony Legs poked her head out of the window. What do you want? She asked Sasha. My aunt would like to borrow a needle and thread, said Sasha. Come right in, said the witch. Sasha went inside. Now, said Bony Legs, get into the tub. Why? asked Sasha. I don't need a bath. I want you nice and clean, said Bony Legs. I'm going to cook you for my supper. She grinned and showed her iron teeth. Then she went outside to gather sticks for the fire. She locked the door behind her. Sasha was scared. She began to cry. Don't cry, said a voice. I will help you. Sasha looked around. No one was there but the cat. Fill the tub. But don't get in, said the cat. Sasha had never heard a cat talk, but she did what it told her. Bony Legs called to the door. Are you washing, girl? Yes, I am, said Sasha. Good, said Bony Legs, and she went away to gather more sticks. After she had gone, the cat gave Sasha a silver mirror. When you are in trouble, throw this away, said the cat. This doesn't make any sense, thought Sasha, but she took the mirror and put it in her pocket. Now run, said the cat. Sasha climbed out the window and began to run. The witch called to the door again. Are you washing, girl? Yes, I am, said the cat. Well, hurry up said Bony Legs. Then she went away. Sasha ran through the yard. The dog stopped her and gave her a wooden comb. When you need help, throw this away, 
said the dog. That does not make sense, thought Sasha. She put the comb in her pocket, then she opened the gate. It did not make a sound on its buttered hinges. Sasha ran into the woods. Bony Legs called to the door again. Are you washing, girl? Yes, I am, said the cat. What? said Bony Legs. Not done yet? She flung open the door. There was the cat. There was the tub. But where was Sasha? You sneaky cat, yelled Bony Legs. Why did you trick me? You never fed me, said the cat. But Sasha gave me meat to eat. Bah, said Bony Legs, and she ran into the yard. The dog was sleeping in the sun. You lazy dog, shouted Bony Legs. Why didn't you bark at her? You never fed me, said the dog. But Sasha gave me bread to eat. Bah, said the witch, and she rushed to the gate. You worthless gate, she screamed. Why didn't you lock her in? You never took care of me, said the gate. But Sasha put butter on my hinges. The old witch flew into a rage. She stamped her feet, pulled her hair, and even pinched her nose, but she did not feel any better. She ran after Sasha on her bony old legs. Sasha looked back and saw the witch's iron teeth glinting in the sun. Sasha was scared. She remembered the silver mirror. She took it out of her pocket and threw it behind her. The mirror became a deep silver lake. Bony legs could not cross it. Sasha saw the witch coming again. She remembered the wooden comb. She took it out of her pocket and threw it behind her. The comb grew until it was tall as three trees. Bony legs could not climb over it. She could not dig under it. She could not even squeeze through it. At last, she gave up, and she stamped her feet, pulled her hair, and pinched her nose all the way back to her hut. Sasha went home, too, and you can be sure she never went back to the hut that stood on chicken feet. And for as long as she lived, she never saw old Bony Legs again. What did you think of today's story? Do you think it was smart for Sasha to go out in the deep woods alone? I don't think I would be as brave as Sasha was. We hope you enjoyed today's story, and stay tuned for the conclusion of our not-so-scary Spooktober stories. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please like and consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you, and good night.